Hello, welcome to JXJ Aviation. In this video, we will be looking at the takeoff segments of an aircraft. First, let's look at what is a takeoff path. Definition of takeoff path. The takeoff path of an aircraft starts from an aircraft's stationary start point until the aircraft reaches a height of 1,500 feet above the takeoff surface. The takeoff path starts with the ground roll. After the ground roll, the path is divided into four segments. Let's look at the ground roll and the takeoff segments in more detail. The ground roll. Before takeoff, the aircraft is initially stationary and aligned with the runway's center line. Both the engines are currently operative and set to take off power. The landing gear is in the extended position. The flaps are in the takeoff flap setting. The airspeed will start to increase from zero. The engine failure is assumed to happen at V1. In case of an engine failure before V1, the takeoff must be rejected. If the engine failure occurs after V1, the takeoff must be continued. This is because if the takeoff is rejected after V1, the runway length will not be sufficient for the aircraft to stop safely. Here, let's assume the aircraft continues with the takeoff after the engine failure. The takeoff segments. The takeoff segments are categorized based on the engine power, landing gear position, airspeed, and flap settings. During a normal aircraft takeoff, with all engines operating, although the takeoff segments are applicable, the aircraft will easily climb and meet the speed, altitude, and climb gradient requirements. So, to get a clear picture of the takeoff segments, Let's consider a two-engine aircraft, which has an engine failure at V1. The first segment. This segment starts when the aircraft becomes airborne. The operating engine is at takeoff power, and flaps are in takeoff flap setting. In this segment, the landing gear is retracted when the aircraft is airborne with positive climb. The speed at which the aircraft becomes airborne is called VLOF, or liftoff speed. The speed must accelerate to V2 by a height of 35 feet. This segment ends when the landing gear is fully retracted. The second segment. The second segment is the climb to 400 feet height, above ground level. This segment starts when the landing gear is fully retracted. The running engine power is at full takeoff power. The flaps stay in takeoff flap setting. During the climb, a two-engine aircraft should maintain a climb gradient of 2.4%. The airspeed to be maintained in this segment is V2. The third segment. This segment starts when acceleration height is reached, or a minimum of 400 feet. The aircraft is accelerating from V2 speed to the final segment climb speed, or VFS. The flaps are retracted at the start of this segment. The engine power is maintained at takeoff power for as long as possible, or a maximum of 5 minutes. This segment is also called the acceleration segment. The fourth segment. Here, the aircraft climbs from acceleration height to 1500 feet above ground level. The engine power is reduced to maximum continuous power. During the climb, the required climb gradient in this segment is 1.2%. This is the final segment. The hardest segment. Out of the four takeoff segments, the second segment, 
which is the climb to 400 feet, is the hardest segment or the most restrictive. Before every takeoff, it must be ensured that the second segment climb requirement is met. This is to ensure the aircraft can clear all obstacles in its climb path. With both engines operating, the aircraft can easily meet the requirements of the four segments. With one engine inoperative, the aircraft can lift off, but the climb segment becomes difficult, especially in high-altitude airports or in high-temperature conditions. That's all for my video on the takeoff segments of an aircraft. Thank you for watching. If you like the video, please share and subscribe. And you can continue watching some of my other videos as well.